um, I was hit with this thought that all the messianic promises, all, all messianic, Jesus came as a baby, as the Messiah, to the Jews, to the Gentiles, that's all of us. <clears throat> he came as the Messiah. So all the Old Testament prophecies that talk about his coming, they are actually part of the Christmas story. They are part of the Christmas story. And um, here, here's one of my concerns. One of my concerns is that all the stories that become popular, David and Goliath, the Christmas story, uh, Jonah and the whale, you know, <laughs> Noah and the ark, all, all these different stories, they sometimes lose their edge to really speak and to penetrate our hearts because of the familiarity. And um, the Christmas story is, is the one that we sing about, or you hear the songs in the malls. The song we sang this morning, Joy to the World, The Lord Has Come. Do you hear this? It's an intercessory prophetic word. Let earth receive her king. It's a prayer for the nations to find life, to find the redemptive touch of God. It's an intercessory prayer. I, when I go through the malls, I just pray, oh God, drive this song, the words into the hearts of people as we sing it here this morning. I'm just thinking, man, nations have been searching and fighting for something. Let them find you in this season. And, uh, and, and that's what this season is supposed to be about, is that people would taste the freedom, the liberty that comes only in Jesus.